Oh man, it's a regular guy. Guess what time it is? I just got in the taco pouches I ordered. Everybody knows the G code ones. I've been against them, but you know what? I thought I was gonna check it out. I got with the program. You know what? I can't wait. We're, we're not even. We're just gonna dive right into it. Let's, let's go. G code pouches. Let's talk about it. I mean, I've never been a fan of buying high end stuff like this, but uh, you know what? It's time. I guess I get with the program and start getting a little higher end stuff. These are uh, the AR mag pouches. I mean, they feel like good quality. It's like a rubberized material. It's not really Kydex, and I like this bungee system. It's the first time I've really ever seen these. Uh, they look, you seem to be where they can connect each other. I like these, the brass screw holes right here. It shows that it's very well made. So I, I do like that on these pistol mags. I got the shorter pistol mag ones. So I got like four pistol mags sitting here, and then I got three rifle magazine ones and you can adjust it. I'll mess with these in a minute. Came with this hardware that I ordered, and you know what, I'm not gonna make y'all watch me put all this hardware on, so I'm just gonna dump it out, but I ordered the ones that uh, will fit on a belt, but it will also fit on uh, Molly as well. This one, let's see, the model number for this kind, I think it was like called P1 or, or there, yeah, P Clips uh, Pistol to Soft Shell Scorpions, and there's the instructions on how to put it on, on G-Code Tactical. Um, do what, let me get these set up and, and we'll, we'll put some of them on. I got all my stuff out. I started messing with it, putting it together, but, uh, I left one just to show you how you put these together. This clip, uh, I'm not going to snap it because once you do, it is hard to get off. You have to actually lift up this little tab and squeeze two things here at the same time, which you can't get to. So it, it takes like three hands, basically. I've already been messing with it a little bit. And so I'm not going to do it right now because I'll be fiddling with it for a few minutes. But basically you figure out which holes you want depending on which type of attachment you have and it has slots for a little, little bit higher, a little bit lower, whichever you want. I just kind of drop mine in there and then I'm gonna put it in the middle. Uh, you do it just a little bit different on the uh, uh, AR pouch, but I'll, I'll show you that one in a second. Make sure I got this hole lined up. There we go. Uh, the good thing about these is uh, they're, they're pretty universal because you can actually uh, put these on a mag pouch if you want to have an AR and then a pistol in front of it But I don't want to do that just because I think it makes my belt a little bit too wide and just, it's just hard to maneuver around But I mean it's user preference of course um, you can set yours up however you want it I set my battle belt up uh, where things are indexed to where I know where it is and a lot of it's positive habit transfer from when I was a police officer and stuff It's like this is where I like my equipment so that I don't even have to look I just reach and I know where something is um so on the AR ones, there's a double one and there's other attachments that go on the back, but I like these clips because you can kind of use them on a belt. You can kind of use them on Molly. So these are uh, actually says they're R1 clips is what they're called. There's like, there's like two or three options when you do it, pick which kind of attachment you want. Okay, so enough about that. Uh, I was testing it out a little bit. I do like the snug fit. They fit good. I mean, I'm 100% sure that's not coming out even loaded with, uh, with ammo. But I was surprised. It doesn't have any catches or anything. It doesn't like Kydex holds it and locks in right there. Nothing locks it in. It's only tension from this. But, but this rubbery texturized surface in here, it's really grippy. Uh, it's, I guess that's the best way to put it. It's grippy. And you put it in and it forms around it and it just grips it. It says there's only tension holding it in there that, that that's it but like i said i i'm 100 sure i could shake it with all my might and it's not going to come out of there so and then it's still yeah, i mean it, it takes a little force but it's still not too hard to pull out of there so i mean so far i'm impressed with it and the ar one you can fit ar magazine you can fit a 762 same thing just surface tension holds it in because of the grippy texture on there and then you just put it in you know it will go any direction you want it in there because it's not fit for a certain direction unlike kydex so i'm actually more impressed with these than i thought i was going to be they got some drain holes on the bottom i like how you can get different attachments and or you can use these and like stack those on top of each other but then your belt is going to be that wide sticking out around your belt i mean which which is quite a bit <laughs> so that's how you set those up. I think I'm going to set mine with like two mags in the front on each side of my belt where I can get to either one of them easy because I've got other stuff around my belt. But you know what? Uh, enough about that. Um, here, let me get to setting up this belt and then we'll take another look at some of these things. Okay, I'm right in the middle of my uh, setup, but I, I took a little break for a second because I wanted to show these are the uh, P2 clips that uh, that come with the uh, the pistol pouches there. I actually ended up replacing one of mine with the, uh, the a malice clip here. And the reason is these 
P2 clips, they don't really fit. If you put the bottom in there, they don't really fit in there to hold it really good. You can kind of do in the middle or something like that, it, but then you don't have anywhere to put this. So it just, it wasn't working out too good for me, to be honest. I mean, you can do it, but there's a, a little bit of playroom. I'm gonna mess with it a little more, but I was just experimenting and you can actually take a malice clip and run behind your rifle pouch. It seems to have a, a pretty snug fit, to be honest. Um, I mean, at least so far, I've had this one go in there and I've got another one that's already complete. It's, I mean, it's kind of a snug fit at the bottom, but I want a snug fit. So uh, just letting you know, there are other options out there to what you're trying to do. Uh, there, that one's on there. No problem. It hangs out about the same amount as the other clip. I was actually just kind of taking these and I was just wrapping like around the bottom and whatnot and then just kind of cinching it up. I don't know, just dressing it up a little bit. But just to let you know, that's an option out there and it, it seemed to work really good. All right, the battle belt's complete. Uh, I'm gonna go with my overall recap on it, on my setup. You know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to stick to like three positives, three negatives. Otherwise I'll get to talking to them for a whole bunch. All right, let's just, let's just go with the positives first. Will I run these again and buy them again? The answer is yes, because what I like about them, their positives are, the mags, they fulfill any kind of mag, basically, you know, whatever pistol, forwards or backwards. I mean, I like that. The grip in them, it's like there's, there's the grippy material. I'm 100% sure that I can take it upside down and shake it and nothing's coming out of it. So I have full confidence in using this equipment. Same thing with the AR mags. It fits any direction. Very grippy. Still slides out easy, though it's grippy. All right, so, uh, and fairly economical. We'll say fairly. That's kind of a plus and minus. Uh, what else on the, the minus? What do I not like about them? <sighs> I don't like, the biggest thing is, I gotta say, is the P-clips. Y'all saw me having trouble with it. Be like, ah, oh, it's just because you, you ain't using it right. I mean, you gotta push this tab up and squeeze in. If the tab falls back down, it blocks them from going in. So you have to have like your hand and then need like a third hand to be pushing it forward. I'm just saying, it wasn't as easy to set up as I thought with the P-clips. Also, the next negative is also on the P-clips. Uh, if you look inside, I've had to run the clips behind my entire belt uh, just so it gets a good grip on there. Otherwise, I ran it through the, uh, the Molly right here and the rifle ones had a little bit of slop in them so that when I was pulling the rifle mag out, I was having at least a half inch movement in the whole thing before it would come out. And then when I ran it behind there, it seems to be doing fine now. Uh, other than that, not to go get with the clip thing again, but the P clips were not stacking well, even though it advertises stackable and I see they have the attachment set up. It just, it wasn't fitting quite right without trying to maneuver it and wiggle it. And I don't know. So I ended up replacing the P clip on the pistol one, on the short one, as you see the holes line up right here on the, the malice clips. And it shows it fits in there good, a nice snug fit. Also, it lets you know that the malice clips, the holes line up for the malice clips will also work on regular Molly gear. So that's a plus I didn't know about. I don't know that that's an option when you're buying them. You can buy them with no attachments and know that if you have these malice clips, they're gonna fit fine. So those are, that's my overall review. I have full faith and confidence in their being well built. I can't wait to try them out at the next tactical games. I'll let y'all know what I think about it after that, but I'm 100% sure that they're gonna hold up good. I just hope that I can keep up with them. But if you've got any other opinions on it, please let us know in the comments. That's a regular guy's opinion.